time when we start to play was very interesting. We learned to play, we were listening to a lot of new music and took our inspiration from pioneers of Norwegian black metal who recorded their best albums at the time. We had a lot of rehearsal gigs, uh, but we didn't have money for music uh, recording. So what was the nearest future plans for Galeanta band? Actually, we had a lot of plans. First of all, last time we were working on creating new album. We already have several songs, which we already started to record, and we were working on creation of new songs, which will be an addition to uh, the, so uh, the songs which we already started to uh, record. Uh, also, we had plans to create several lyric videos, and we wanted to make a video clip to the end of this year. But as you know, these plans can be fulfilled right now because of full-scale Russian invasion. Uh, as for their, our opinion according to Russian invasion, I know that every member of the band can give their own story on this point. Uh, but in general, I can say that every one of us was affected by this situation. First of all, the majority of us was in Kiev when it was when the attack was started. Some of us even was in Bucha, which was occupied till the last days. Uh, so our plan, of course, stopped, and we don't know when we will have an ability to fulfill them. In general, what I can say about the full-scale invasion, uh, you know, we have uh, a war in our country like eight year duration. It started from Crimea occupation, so it wasn't like a big surprise for us that Russia can invade the Ukraine. But to tell the truth, uh, as for me, I wasn't believed that it will uh, be like this, that a city in 21st century can be bombed like that, that people all around Ukraine will be hiding their heads because of bombing, because of shooting that we will have to find a safe place uh, to be alive. Uh, but in general, what I can say, uh, Ukrainians are strong, uh, Ukrainians are brave, and we are pretty sure, I give you 100 percentage, that we will win Russians. And I can say you that probably all band members will be along with me, according uh, to that. We will win, we are sure of that. It's a finished work which was created and recorded with the currently new band members. Absolutely new people. It's a new phase of a band from musical and lyric perspective. So, what was the situation with the Ukrainian metal scene last year? Uh, all we know that Ukrainian metal scene was affected uh, pretty much as the whole world scene by the coronavirus disease. A lot of musicians stopped their plans, stopped from participating in any kind of uh, musical festivals and music concerts. Uh, that situation affected Ungaleanta as well, uh, but in general the last year was pretty, like it gave a hope that everything can be okay pretty soon. Uh, the metal scene started to feel more alive because of concerts, because of plans to perform some big open airs, and uh, I think that the scene, metal scene of last year's was was weaker because of the coronavirus disease. But in general, we know the stories when Ukrainian bands signed some big concrete uh, contracts with uh, big labels, for example. So slowly, but we are growing and we are became bigger.
Mostly literature. Since 2010, I'm under strong influence of Howard Phillips Lovecraft artworks. And this influence can be recognized in every album uh, we have. Future album was planned to be fully uh, dedicated to Lovecraft and myths, but in the light of recent uh, events, all plans can be changed or synced.